Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where today we're going to be taking a look at the Hot Ring Saber and the Volva Fagala Aloha. Screw you, this name sucks. And so does the car. Look at this. Here's a drag performance test against another sports classics car. Yeah, this thing is slow as hell. The only good thing I can say about this car is that its handling is pretty darn tight. That's about it. I think the only people who are going to want to buy this car are all farts who see this car in this game and they're all like, Ooh, ah, this car looks very nice and fancy. Reminds me of what we had in the day. At least it's not massively expensive. I mean, it's 300 grand, uh, money that could be much better spent in like a hundred other things, but yeah, it's an okay vehicle for the price. Moving on, let's get to the better car for this video, the Hot Ring Racer. Out of all the cars that I would have liked to see a comeback into GTA, not once did I ever think of the classic Hot Ring Racer. This was the car whose cheat code I'd always remember through the years on the console version of the old GTA games. It was like, oh, I need to get somewhere, I need a car. R1 circle, R2 right, L1, L2, XX square, R1, boom, let's go! Yeah, anyways, the Hot Ring Racer makes a pretty cool comeback in the form of its customizability. Well, sort of. Actually, the car lacks a lot of customizability in terms of the physical shape of the car, but there's a huge plethora of liveries that you can put on the car to make up for it. More than enough liveries to have one unique per racer in an online race. It's pretty cool. Anyways, out on the road, the Hot Ring is about average in terms of performance. It's able to slide around if you need it to. It's decent in top speed, and acceleration is also average. And I know what a lot of you will be asking, how does this car compare against the mighty Pariah? Yeah, the Pariah is still the best. Oh well, we can only hope that in the future, cars in the DLC will be able to match the Pariah's performance, but in terms of the Hot Ring Racer, should you buy one? Well, if I could afford one, I'd definitely buy one. But yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Pyram Gaming Channel for loads more videos coming to you very soon. See you around, folks.